Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be checking in for basically the first couple weeks of July. I'm really behind on my check-ins. Um, I've definitely been spending money and I've been pulling money out of my cash envelopes, but I haven't been doing my weekly check-ins. Um, which, yeah, I've just been really, really busy with work. That's not an excuse. It's just a fact, but yeah, maybe I am using it as an excuse. But anyways, we are going to jump into this and get back on track so we can end the month on a solid note. I am not going to pull any money from my like normal check-in categories, but I am going to pull money from my sinking funds when we go to check in with those. So it will include that. Um, so yes, so if you see, this is where I track all of my spending, my, um, I track five categories and I track them in my monthly view. This is an Erin Condren monthly planner, seven by nine. Um, it works perfect for budgeting. So yeah, we're going to start. So these are the categories that I check in with groceries, eating out, parking, gas, and personal. So if you're new here, that's kind of just what I do weekly. Um, I've narrowed it down to those categories and then the rest comes out of my sinking funds. So let's get started. Um, I have not done any kind of check-in. I've already pulled the money because I've either spent it with cash or I just was depositing it back into my account and like pulling it. Um, on like a scratch paper, I had everything tracked down, but we're gonna add everything up here. So this is, this light blue is going to be for my eating out this month. And I got, I didn't even get coffee. This is a coffee spot. I got two pastries instead of coffee. I didn't even get coffee. So there's that. And we're gonna check in until um, Saturday. So this is done and then we didn't have any eating out this week and then recently I went and had lunch by myself and I got a couple tofu tacos and then afterwards I got a vegan soft serve that was delicious. So that's that and then Saturday after work I was so tired and picked up a falafel bowl. So, so far this month, we are, let's see, one, two, yeah, I'm gonna put this under week two. We're just gonna skip week one in this section and we're gonna go straight to week two. So, so far, I've spent 42.43 for eating out. And then if we go over here, um, I budget a hundred, so a hundred minus forty two forty three is a remainder of fifty seven fifty seven. Hmm. So that's what I have left for the rest of the month to spend. If I go over, not a huge deal, but I try to stay within budget. That's why we create a budget, right? Okay, so next we're gonna track parking. I, if you're new here, I drive into San Francisco. I work in San Francisco and I have to pay parking in San Francisco. And um, sometimes I have good days and other times I have not so good days with parking. So we like to track that. So right here I spent $2 and then $2.50. And thirty two fifty one, and then twenty five sixty seven, and twenty seven sixty six. Yikes! Ninety forty three. Let me mark these off real quick. Um, I did bump up my parking budget because, I mean, let's be real. Sometimes I can find a good spot. Sometimes I take the ferry, but when I am parking and driving and parking, I am spending quite a bit. So yeah, that's 
fun. Okay, so next is gonna be this yellow color and this is gonna be for my groceries for the month. Um, so we have 33.78 from Trader Joe's. And then I went to Grocery Outlet and picked up a few things. And then another Trader Joe's for 37.39. So that's a total of 84, yeah, that's all the yellows, 84.06, oops, 84.06, I didn't do my remaining for parking. So I budget 350 for groceries and I spent 84.06, so I have a remaining 265. 94 left over and then we'll do parking real quick so I budget 200 and I spent 90 34 so I have a remaining 109 66 left over um oh my, my allergies are so bad so that's not too bad we're halfway through the month basically so yeah, I have had a couple managing shifts throughout the month where I got free parking, so that helps. Um, and I, we stocked up a lot with groceries, so I haven't had to spend any money this last week. Next is personal, and I bought some non-alcoholic beverages at Total Wine for 4th of July. And then this is going to be tracked in my supplements later, so that's not going to count. So I spent forty-two thirty-two. And then I budget. I budgeted a hundred this month, so I have fifty-seven sixty-eight remaining. Um, let's see, next is going to be this peach color, and that's going to be for my gas. So I got really lucky. I went and saw my family this weekend, or 4th of July, and I came back Wednesday, back to the bay. Um, but I went to Costco to go fill up, and I, like, it, I went with my mom and my stepdad. Like, they both went and filled up their vehicles. I had forgotten my Costco card, so I was like, oh, I'm going to go with you. Let me you know, use your card to fill up my tank, like their Costco card, but I was going to pay for it. Well, then I forgot my wallet at my sister. So I was going to use my, at my phone to pay with like the touch to pay. And my stepdad just walked up and like entered in his card and he's like, fill it up. And I was like, oh, so yeah, I didn't have to, um, pay for gas. So that was really, really nice. Um, and then over here, I spent fifteen forty two, and then I spent. What was this from? I feel like I put these on the wrong date. No. When was it that I went? Oh, it wasn't for Fourth of July, so I went to. I was like, wait, I think it was this Saturday. Okay, so I went to Sacramento this weekend and for my, I had a party to go to. And then on Monday, we went to get gas. And so, yeah, that's why I don't have anything this week. So I actually have a, um, extra money in my uh, gas envelope just sitting there, but I'm just going to keep it in there and roll it over. But yeah, it was really cool. It was really sweet of him. He didn't have to do that, but he is a sweetheart. So gas, I spent $34.88 so far, and I budget $240. It's going to come out to a negative, but it's actually just $205.12. Cool. So not too bad. I mean, we're under budget so far. We have a couple more weeks left. Um... 
I don't have much plans this week. I am actually going to be going out of town for a wedding in Tahoe. So I'll probably be spending a little bit more money on like buying groceries for the weekend because we're getting an Airbnb and I prefer to just buy food to make. And yeah, so we'll see how the rest of the month goes. But let's go over to our my sinking funds and I'm going to zoom you out and then I'm going to pull money from my envelopes. Okay, so I have my transaction log. Um, finally got my stickers in. If you watched recent videos, I had my stickers had been damaged. So I finally got them in, set up everything, set up my sinking funds. Um, but we are going to pull some money so I can put it back to the bank and pay off my Discover card because I put some stuff on my card and I like to pay that off. So, um, we're going to start with date night and I spent $50. We went to a movie and I paid for dinner. So I'm going to pull $50, 20, 40, 40, 50. And that's going to go towards my discover payment. So. And then I'm going to, whoa, just put a little X or a check mark. That is not an X. Stickers, I spent 73 on some replacements as well as like my August budget kits. So 20, 40, 60, 65, 75. Um, I will just owe myself $2 in my sticker envelope which I will make change for that later. So that's done. Disneyland, I bought a couple things on Etsy. Um, and then I got, our t got my ticket. So we have 25 for a tank top. And then 52 for a t-shirt. Let's see. I'm gonna actually just swap. Swap that out real quick. Um, so 52 and then 25. So I'm gonna pull this to 25. I think I'm going to keep these in here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. I'll take 2, 1. So, 25. Oh my gosh, this is sloppy. So, for the ticket, I have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 25. So that will cross off. And then I also pulled this 25. And then I need to pull another 50. I guess I should have used 20, saved 20s. <laughs> okay, let's see, 50. I'm just gonna give myself back 50. I need to make change. Okay, so I owe myself 48 actually. So I'm gonna break one of these fives. Let's see, I have some cash over here. Okay, I have this that I randomly stash ones in. So I'm just gonna. Pull five ones out of here. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll just put five in there. No biggie. Okay, so 45, 46, 47, 48. 
I hope I did that right. Like pulled the money. I think I did. Okay. And then I also owe my stickers $2. Hold on, guys, before I forget. Okay. <clears throat> so we did that. And then beauty is actually in this other binder. And I'm gonna pull a hundred for my Ulta card payment. 100. Cool. So now I am going to take this money and go deposit it and make my card payments, my Ulta and my Discover card. Um, I think, you know, having a credit card is very, very beneficial if you know how to use it properly. It took me a long time to get to a good relationship with having credit cards. Um, I now have the habit of spending and paying it off prior, like, you know, in my 20s, it was not like that. So I've come a long way, but, um, you know, if you find cards that are right for you, I love the Discover card because it has lots of cash back bonuses. It's a really great card. Um, and then you can rack up your cash back, you can cash it in, you can put it towards, you know, a, your credit card payment. I like to cash it in and just have that cash, cash as a bonus. But yeah, so that is it guys. I'm going to head over to the bank, get all this deposited and make my payments. Um, I will have a cash stuffing coming out later in the week. So be on the lookout for that. If you haven't already subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. Come and hang out with me. Um, hit the notification bell if just in case you don't miss the videos. Um, but I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.